race for the White House is heating up with the Democratic National Convention just three days away. It's a race that looks much different than one month ago when Democrats were debating over whether President Biden should stay in the race. Delegates from the Bay Area are getting ready to head to Chicago to celebrate a big moment for Vice President Kamala Harris. Kara St. Cyr spoke with one of them about the excitement ahead of one of the more unique conventions in recent history. It's been less than a month since VP Kamala Harris ascended to the top of the Democratic presidential ticket, and fellow Bay Area Democrats are heading into next week feeling energized. The fact that the vice president is uh, California and is icing on the cake. Sandra Lowe, a longtime delegate for the California DNC, is preparing for her fifth visit to the Democratic National Convention. To have this Democratic candidate from a very blue state is, is quite special. Lowe is optimistic that this convention will work wonders for an already strong campaign. The Kamala Walls ticket has already drawn in $12 million from last week's private fundraiser in the Bay Area. But Lowe's optimism largely rests on increased interest on social media. You know, the memes and the social media and all of that. So. I don't see the older section of the party, including myself, driving those new energies, so it's coming from somewhere. Polls show that Democrats are more excited for this election. A poll from Data for Progress shows that enthusiasm for the party surged 20 percent after President Biden exited the race. But that doesn't mean Harris and Walsh are bulletproof. Jason McDaniel, a political analyst at SF State, says the convention is a critical opportunity to introduce themselves to the party. She's, she's well known, but not as well known as someone like Trump or, or Biden. And so I think, you know, people should see them highlighting her experience in San Francisco, uh, her, her experience as a prosecutor, her experience as vice president, perhaps her experience as a woman of color. The convention itself will follow the usual script, barring some slight changes. For one, both Harris and Walsh are already official nominees, despite the convention starting next week. Both were selected by delegates during a virtual vote. The vote was was merely not not nothing, but it was a showpiece, right? Uh, you know, we know who the nominee was going to be by the time of the convention. The old days of, of conventions actually selecting the nominee are long gone. We've also learned some details about the speaker lineup. President Biden and Hillary Clinton are set to speak Monday, and former President Barack Obama on Tuesday. VP nominee Tim Walz and former President Bill Clinton on Wednesday, and it all wraps up with Harris on Thursday night.